Hi. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you? This is this is a crazy moment right now because I actually used to watch your your guys' YouTube videos all the time. Oh my god, we're so excited to have you. So I want to play a game. This is it's finished that phrase. If I was not quarantined right now, I would be doing. Uh, I would be going to the beach. I would be in the studio every day. I would be eating healthier food, Same. going out to dinners. Okay, my biggest fear in life is. I think my fans know this one, but I'm like weirdly afraid of ponds and like swamps. Like murky water, <laughs> like murky water, really just gives me the chills. Like I can't, I can't walk near a pond because I just. Uh, I also hate pillars. I think they're really strange. And we like on tour, there were like a bunch of hotel rooms that had like random yeah. pillars in the room, and I was like, "What is the reason for this? It's like a big block of like cement, and it just makes me really <laughs> uncomfortable." I'm sorry, I'm so strange. Uh, my dream celebrity boyfriend is. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy, Audrey. Uh oh. I think my celebrity boyfriend would probably be Dominic Fike. I kind of have a major crush on him just because I don't, I don't know. I really like the I don't care vibe and uh, he's so good. Just like he's so dope live too, and he's he just so like dope. has a really cool aesthetic around him. And don't tell him that I said that. You are like a quarantine queen because you just released a music video with Kyle, super cool. But you also just did Boys Ain't Shit and that music video is like yeah. so good. Thank you. Yeah, that one was, that was super fun because I, I literally filmed it like right here on my bed and yeah. it was just like, so like super DIY and like Tate and Grace did it in their home too. Yeah. And then we had this dope director just like bring it all together. Definitely. Uh, yeah, those are two like awesome women. Like, they've been doing it. I know Say Grace has been in the game for a while and then Tate McCray, like what a powerhouse, you know? I know. She's been in this industry for a while while too. I used to watch her when she was on uh, that show, So You Think You Can Dance. Didn't you used to dance too? I did. I just posted a, a video of me trying to dance in my room, but I haven't, I literally haven't danced in like three years. My my fan base is called the Paperclip Club. It's on my wall. Why the Paperclip Club? I just started wearing paper clips in my ears and people were like, uh, what is that? And, uh, I guess it just turned into my thing and then it's just kind of a reminder to be an individual kind of because like it's like a single paper clip and then also like brings things together and so it was all cheesy and all that way but like it, it means a lot to me and it means a lot to the fan base as well. Um, <laughs> is there anyone other females in the music industry that you kind of you want to work with? This is like a big, big dream, but I think one is definitely Rihanna or like maybe an Ariana or a Billy. Oh, but, yeah. uh, but then there's also like the Georgia Smiths and the Hers, um, like that super R&B. Let's talk about why you gotta be like that. Yes. With Kyle, first of all, I'm a huge Kyle fan. Like I- Me too. I think he's so cool. Me um, too. How did that happen? How did that collaboration happen? I'm like, how did this happen? Because I, like, I literally used to listen to Kyle all the time. He's like my top listened artist. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we just, in January of this year, we, we were kind of thinking, we were brainstorming the plan for the year. So we were just like, we should put out a Why You Gotta Be Like That remix and have someone hop on it. And we had like a whole bunch of other people, like Conan Gray, Rule, Black Bear were some other ones. And, and then we decided on Kyle because Kyle has like this dope energy around him. And he's like super, super like goofy and silly. And we just like thought it would be the perfect like vibe for the song. Any artist vibes 
maybe that you kind of pull from that you bring into the studio with you or you know not necessarily inspire you but like a literal specific vibe that you kind of pull from whether it's like a Billie Eilish vibe or a Tate McRae vibe like whatever it may be I mean I I look up to a lot of artists but like to be honest when it comes to making my own music like my honest answer is that like I try not to compare my music to anything else because I don't want it to seem like I'm copying someone or I just like don't know who I am as an artist which I don't and that's why I need to like figure it out. Well, you're amazing Audrey. Thank you so much. Thank for you. With us. Of course. Thank you for having me.